Hey bitches, today we have another BTS video and we are reacting to their concept photos for Love Yourself. They look stunning from what I can tell, uh, this is a blind reaction, we're gonna see how it goes. And before we start, I just wanna stay subscribed to my channel, go check out other content that I make, there's various topics as you can see right now. And go ahead, engage with me and let's discuss everything and here we go. Hey babes, listen, sorry for this cut, but... I'm currently editing and I just realized that I did not include this little part. I have started officially a Patreon and I think it really looks cute, I spent a lot of time designing it, so please go check it out, I'll put the link in the description, you can see right now on the screen, it looks really lovely. You can see out of these four tiers which one suits you the best if you want to support me, I would really appreciate it because YouTube isn't paying shit right now and it might not ever for a very long time. So yeah, it would mean a lot to me if you would support me on my journey and the special tier which is tier number four you can have your own suggestion monthly for a video and you can be anything BTS any other boy band girl group fashion show whatever it is so yeah please go check it out and yeah it would really mean a lot to me thank you so the first thing that I notice is as I look at this picture of them is everything is colorful there's a lot of inspiration I believe from other artists like Michael Jackson Elton John that blazer is literally Elton John from that collection. We're gonna see as we go individually. You know how they say the cheerleader effect? I think in How I Met Your Mother they kind of popularize that when they say that when you get a bunch of girls together they all look hot but individually they're not that good. So I wonder if that'll be the case as I go through each of them. But from what I can see so far they look great. So let's go ahead with the first person and that's going to be, I don't know, let's say Jimin. I don't know what the concept photos are for so for example, with Jimin in this photo, there are hands coming out of the walls. I don't know what that is symbolism for, so please do tell me. But he looks really cool. <laughs> Maybe not cool, he looks really good. That uh, shirt, basically what it is, or a sweater, could be a sweater, kind of looks like what Michael Jackson wore with the vertical lines and the shininess of it. Michael Jackson did have a bow tie, I believe, but this... This looks very good on him. I love that hair. I don't know why. It's almost like a bowl cut, and I love a good bowl cut. It's, it's just it's just bangs. <laughs> Guys, it's not that deep, but he looks good. His face is serving. The pants, this pink shade is nice. I usually don't like pink that much. I don't know, it's just not my color, but this almost baby pink color works on him. The shininess of it is good because it reflects the light, so they look even lighter than they are. I like the shoes and how shiny they are as well. The earrings are pretty cool as well. I want to almost say that this is kind of... In the photo that I saw, they didn't look very feminine, let's say. But as I look at him individually, there is a certain kind of femininity in the styling choices here. And I'm digging it. <laughs> I think this looks really fun. Because I have always said that we should have some more variety in men's clothing. Like in terms of high fashion, yes there is. In terms of normal wear, no there isn't, this isn't particularly normal everyday wear, but it's still not that extravagant, and it looks pretty nice. Um, not, It's not girlish, but there is some softness in the look itself. I respond well to it, I don't know what to tell you, let's go with the next person. <laughs> so how do you pronounce this guy's name? Because people usually say it from what I heard, Young Cook. but this wonderful Korean lady that I saw on YouTube said something along the lines of Zhang Cook. I don't know, but th that's what it sounded like to me. But anyway, he looks great, love the eyes in the back. Hey, Izzy, you'll, you'll see me, do I look good? <laughs> anyway, this is also inspired by Michael Jackson to me, because Michael Jackson wore a lot of those kind of, maybe not directly knitted into the jacket type of clothing, but they were always bedazzled and shiny, kind of like gold, red or black uh, styling choices in the sweater, in the jackets that always look good on him. Michael Jackson was very memorable for that. Even the leg harnesses, which I absolutely love, I don't know. The leg harness and the embroidery on the jacket, the shoulder piece, let's say, let's call it that, and the ruffle in the front. This is looking very good. This is even better than Jimin, and both of them are fine. So yeah, love the hair again. The shoes are fine, I would maybe switch. Works, they work with the look. I would just maybe want a different type of shoe. Yeah, Michael Jackson was basically the person to popularize. Well, he had that military jacket. It became very famous and people like to wear it. I mean, you have so many Michael Jackson impersonators as it is. Um, but yeah, it, it almost comes to a little bit of sick side. <laughs> to the length they go to impersonate somebody. 
but hey, if they're not harming anyone, who am I to judge? This look is really nice. Not much femininity here, for example, but still, it works really well. I cannot explain to you enough how much I get excited when I see the leg harness. That looks stunning. That looks sexy, it looks great on him, love the pose, this is gorgeous. Here we have V, wearing Dolce & Gabbana, and I really like this. Again, we have these ruffles on the jacket, the blazer. Um, we have the floral pattern shirt, the hair matches, the eyes even match. Is that an earring that also works well? Jesus Christ, whoever style... Well, obviously these are Gucci, Dolce & Gabbana, but like who directly styled them? I want to know because these choices are really nice. It's so... Like, when I see ruffles, I think of Michael Jackson, I think of Prince, who else? I'm not sure, maybe David Bowie or Elton John. Somebody like that. And and I think they work really well on the outfits. Of course, depending on how they're styled, but I like it. I like the ring that I see there. He looks fine. For example, if we're gonna talk about Ruffles, we're gonna talk, and we just talked about Michael Jackson, let's talk about Prince, who was this kind of like gender-bending singer. Well, pretty much dibble-dabbled in both male and female stereotypes when it comes to fashion, and he looked really cool doing it, and I think he was a big influence on the fashion industry, on the people who love fashion, like V, who is a singer. So yeah, I think that this was a really nice choice for him. It looks great on his body. Yeah, it's almost flamboyant, like it comes to that point when I look at it, and I love it. Now I'm noticing that I'm only complimenting them, I have really nothing bad to say, and I feel like that's kind of boring to watch. <laughs> I'm not sure what you think. Please tell me, like, do you want me to find something that is more, that is worse than what I see here, because this so far is really nice, so I can't pretend that I dislike it, but I feel like that's why it might not be as interesting of a reaction as my previous three videos on BTS. I don't know, we'll see, but I I really like it. I, I'm sorry, people. <laughs> I guess you don't care, you love it that I love it. But yeah, the next guy is Suga, my favorite one. Here we go, Suga. Did y'all see the new song that he has with, with uh, the guy, what is his name, Psy? I heard of Psy when he came up with Gangnam Style, just like everybody else. I was still in high school, and I thought, who is this guy? He's so fun, he, he was great. And then he disappeared, at least for me, like he was nowhere here. And all of a sudden, his song, popped up on my feed on YouTube, and I saw, oh my god, Suga is with him, and I watched it. it, it's a fun song, I love the video, so yeah, here we go, my favorite guy, Suga, somebody, the previous video that I made, when I said that he's my favorite, told me that he's actually cold, some people said that he's nice, I don't know what he's like, and I don't care, he seems lovely to me, okay, deal with it, he looks great here as well, love the pants, love the floral patterns, it's a really fun whimsical look, even though it's in black and white, but that pop of colors with the floral pattern on the pants, they look lovely. Um, again with the hands, here we go, see me with the hands. He looks great, I love that it's shot from above, where everybody else was kind of from the front. He looks like he's closed in a box, the hands are reaching out towards him, he looks almost like at an exit. I know that, I'm not sure if that's what they meant when they took this picture, but it looks great. I really like this. By the way, people like David Bowie have, have worn a lot of floral patterns, I'm gonna put pictures right here, and he was also a fashion icon on his own. A lot of people from that era have been very stylish and for that time very weird or extravagant, just overly extra and people did not know how to take them and we are very grateful for them to be experimenting that way at that time because it has pushed the boundaries till this day oh my god okay why am i whispering j-hope is wearing a skirt essentially right yeah that's a skirt and that's um oh my god that's that's a female that's a women's blouse from dolce and gabbana it, it's a lovely blouse by the way but it's for women yeah this shoot had to have been kind of like gender bending inspired right because they all have a certain femininity in their styling i really like this outfit it might be my favorite one so far the more i look at it the more i like it not sure about those socks i could and, and the loafers, like, I, I could lose that, but everything from sh the skirt up is perfection. Love that jacket, love the shirt. Look at him. When we think of feminine clothing, we can come back to glam metal, which they didn't wear feminine clothing, but they did put a lot of makeup in here, or we can go to the, I don't know, uh, Pete Burns from Dead or Alive. He was a very controversial figure until he died. Rip. And also, I don't know, Boy George those people have been pushing boundaries of fashion as well 
and he looked good doing it. Boy George was very flamboyant. I loved how he looked. <laughs> this guy, J-Hope, looks stunning as well. I don't know what to tell you. I love that he's wearing a skirt. That is probably the main point here. Who says that somebody like him, a regular man, cannot wear a skirt? I, I bet you it's fucking comfortable. I will give you that. When it comes to men, I feel like most of the clothing for everyday men is about just being either comfortable or practical. Comfortable, practical. It's not really about being fashionable or that much good looking. Like if you are a good looking man like they are, they're gonna look good in everything. But for me, <laughs> I'm not gonna look good in, in everything. So yeah, I really appreciate this choice. Okay, now we come to the clear inspiration from Elvis Presley because Jin is wearing this all white garment that looks absolutely stunning on him he he very much resembles what elvis presley wore here you go look at it and convince yourself <laughs> he's wearing margella boots which are lovely they're sparkly they're shiny they're silver it's very much on the brand of elvis presley and he's wearing also giambattista valley um these trousers that look absolutely great uh, they are styled well, they are constructed well, designed beautifully. The, his orange hair works really well. Are those cameras on the wall? I think they are. Look at him being the center of attention. In that outfit he certainly would be. Did they perform in these looks ever or are these just concept photos? I would imagine that they were only on, in the photos. But if they wore them and in, at any concert, please let me know because I want to see how they look. <laughs> and last but not least we have RM and that freaking jacket is literally Elton's John jacket <laughs> like he literally wore that like have all been inspired by a certain singer legend from the time and I really like that because if you know anything about those singers you will see the exact uh, inspiration in these outfits those pants are lovely I even like the shoes RM looks freaking stunning I I really want to wear that jacket as well and the pants including everything what does he have around his stomach I can't see what he's wearing on the stomach. I really want to find it. I probably find it when I start editing. Oh my god. I hate that I can't see him. What the hell is that? Is it kind of like a belt? It probably is just kind of like a belt corset type of thing. It looks really nice. Actually, I'll probably lose it here. But yeah, the shoes are actually my favorite ones from the seven guys. I just love the way they look. Black and red. Stunning. This guy is almost my winner, but not exactly. I'm gonna give that to my skirt guy. And yeah, that has been another reaction that I felt that I feel like it might not be as interesting as previous as previous ones. I just think that we should have some kind of controversial opinions for the video to be at, at entertaining because I feel like if you're just constantly complimenting something, what is the purpose of watching when you know that they're always gonna say the nice things? Like, you kind of wanna see the disagreements. Like, because whenever I made video on them, there were certain things that I didn't like and I felt like that created a nice engagement with the people watching it because they would disagree with me. But they would disagree, for the most part, respectfully, just like I would critique them respectfully. But yeah. I really responded well to this, as you have seen. Whoever recommended this to me, which I will find and I will link you here on the screen, thank you very much because this was a really nice fashionable experience. I love everything that they wore. So yeah, well we'll see you in the next video. By the way, I'm thinking of reacting to Eurovision songs and fashion, I'm gonna probably put both of that in my next two videos, which are coming, I hope, on Wednesday and Friday. I will not include this if they are not gonna come there. <laughs> But if they do, go and watch it, check out every content that I make on my channel because it's really interesting, guys. Trust me, you do not want to miss what I make, okay? The last video was about Blackpink. The old ladies looked lovely. We're gonna see what else I'll be making in the future. Please leave me more suggestions with BTS so I can see more of what they wore. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye!